I think we like the same look. We like that Ooh. glowy, bronzy. <laughs> See, mistakes happen. Like past relationships, you kind of just rub it off, let it go, and start all over again, start fresh. I'm Darcy Silva. And I'm Stacy Silva. And today, today we're, we're unfiltered, unfiltered from our home. home. Honestly, my makeup routine lasts about 15, 20 minutes tops. And since quarantine, I love the Darcy glow. I'm pretty much the same. Usually I like to do the glam look as much as possible, but during quarantine, I keep it natural and dewy and fresh. There's never enough makeup. We love makeup, that snatched contour glam look. What I do first with my beauty routine, I like to keep my skin feeling snatched and kind of mm -hmm. like conditioned with like serum and stuff. It's kind of like a pre-prep for the makeup, yeah. so. I think we pretty much have the same routine. What are you gonna pull out? Oh, I got my tools. You got All yours? Right, let's see if we can do it. Mm -hmm. I even put on I my got lips. the face oil. That's our, one of our mm -hmm. secrets to a nice glow. I kind of just do it in an upward motion. Like dabble, a little dabble do ya, little trust dabble me. Do ya. I got one of those too. You let it soak it in your skin better. You gotta roll it in. Look at all those lines. the jaw. You see? So we do that. Oh, you do yours. Yeah. I like this one better. Yeah. Even the lips. I like them juicy. Instant facelift. You always does all that. One thing that actually is different about me and Darcy is that um, I was diagnosed with vitiligo. You know, growing up it was difficult because I would get teased for it and it's on my face and you can kind of see it's like in the shape of a triangle and it goes into my eyebrow. You now forget about that I have vitiligo, but it's made me who I am, it's made me a stronger woman and I embrace it now. I yeah. love to do this next. It gives you those baby doll eyes. Oh, it's a skirt each. And it makes the white of your eyes. You can do it. Oh. It makes the white of your eyes oh, pop. You just kind of, little, little trick little, of the trade. A little trick of the trade. We had an amazing childhood. Honestly, okay. we traveled the world since the age of three. We lived mm -hmm. in London, Japan, Singapore. We went to school overseas. The whole international thing is in our blood. Our family unit has always been strong. Our dad's an engineer by trade, so we've always had the opportunity to move all over the world. Yes. And our mom um, was always with us yeah. as well. We were always the new kids in school. We had yeah. to move every like year or two years. So at least Stacy and I had each other. So that's where our strength and our bond right. really, you know, we stay close and always have each other's back. Yeah. And, and our older brother, Michael, who has since passed on from a rare form of cancer, he's always with us in spirit. And um, he always you know, had our back. Yeah. 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 It was the three of us. That's why we actually got these tattoos yes. when we first moved to LA. We lived in LA for eight years. After our divorce, we actually got divorced on the same day. And, Moved to LA and stayed there eight years, and that's where we started House of Eleven. In we, honor of Michael. Yeah, to continue his legacy and his yeah. honor, because he was so strong, and that's where we feel like we get a lot of our strength, right. is everything he kind of went through. Um, we won't ever give up, because he right. didn't give up. We created vision boards after we had our kids, and we were really inspired by many things in the industry. So we moved to LA, started a production company, 11th Entertainment. 11th Entertainment, yeah. We produced our own TV pilot called The Twin Life. We got into the movie business. We produced a couple films. Dabbled in music too. We've been around the world since the age of three. We, you know, love to date internationally. You know, like we used to meeting people from different cultures. We love that. Our ex-husbands were European and, you know, we just happened to do things in tandem and we're, you know, love to date Europeans. Nothing against American men. We love them too. It's just the connection that you uh, you have with somebody. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the contour part. I like to do the little glow, so I like to add a little, you know, um, elixir, like a gold elixir. It kind of hides the imperfections, especially if you haven't gotten any fillers or Botox lately, because I sure need some. We're gonna take a look back at some of my 90 day fashion moments. First time meeting you. Gotta look your best. If it's a long travel day, you, you wanna feel fresh when you get to your destination. So, you know, you definitely have to have a special scent. You know, you gotta smell good. Mm, this one's beachy, because mm. we haven't been to the Don't get it in my eye. For squirts of perfume, I just, I just do it. It depends how long I've traveled. You know, sometimes you gotta spray, you know, the deck with hay. You wanna do like, you know, your hair sometimes, your legs, just because it's like, it gets hot and sweaty when you're running around or like in a, you know, 
hot airport or on a plane for a long time or right. in a car. So yeah, I definitely like a lot of squirts. A little bronzer don't kill nobody. You gotta have a little bronzer. That's Absolutely. definitely what keeps that glow going and it, you know, pops the cheeks. Mm -hmm. So when you smile big, when you meet, you know, someone you care for, you gotta look pretty. Pop that in. You gotta pop, there you go. Yep. And then you highlight it a little bit. Gotta give it a little pop. Oh, my shoes are stuck. Oh, yeah, that moment. She actually called me um, shortly after. She's like, oh my God, you'll never believe what happened. Oh, great. My brand new Christian Louboutin got stuck in the escalator. And for me, that was a definite red flag. And I literally was like, oh my God, I'm either gonna like fall flat on my face, die, or like, you know, I just had to jump. I had to jump out of like both shoes. It actually broke their escalator. I still have those shoes. I don't wear them as much anymore. I kind of feel like I need to buy another pair. They're totally scuffed. I'm trying to rid all the negative energy yeah. from the past, and sometimes it might linger on in shoes, clothes, or whatever else. I um, I want to give something uh, with you uh, home. Jesse's jacket's probably somewhere in storage. I don't even know. Like. I thought you shifted all, all that back. No, he didn't ask for anything like that. Actually, I left a lot of stuff there that he was like, um, that's where he was like still trying to contact. I was like, just donate it. You know what, there, it's somewhere, I don't really know where it is. It's like, I don't want it in our house, so probably in some boxes somewhere that we have some storage units, so it's eh. Can you, can you be quiet, please? I'm talking, to, I'm trying to elaborate on what she asked me. In the world today, you know, television and being on reality TV, people love to watch you know, people's stories and drama sometimes. I'm stronger now, I just don't ever want to feel like chipped away at. You know, we get very vulnerable at time. I think people have a misconception that I'm desperate Darcy, but I'm not, I'm really strong. I'm a strong, inspired, you know, person, individual. And for my daughters, I, I want to be able to be there for them and, you know, be strong for them. The torment I had gone through, very bad. And I am strong. I'm not gonna let any man take me down. So I think um, people might see me as ultra sensitive, that I cry all the time. No, I have a heart just like everybody else and I know what I deserve. So sometimes that hits me hard and at least I can be open and honest about it. I'm okay with sharing that about myself. It makes you real and who you yeah. are. And I think for the most part, people love you. And this is one of my other tricks right here. Gives you that snatch look. Mm -hmm. see, and then showing. you gotta bake it with the powder. Yeah. Put a little dab here. It opens up your eye, and then you can put it underneath your eyebrow to give you that mm, arch. There you blend go. it in. There you go. I'll come rescue you if I have to. Why? What for? I'm good. See you in six weeks. I think we both kind of know the franchise together at the same time. Um, you know, Stacy got to be, you know, part of that yes. journey going to Albania with Florian, which was really cool. That was a journey oh, yeah. that I'll never forget. Why do you think I don't love you? Because I feel like I'm not good enough. Yeah, there was some things that happened after that a little bit uh, at the hotel room that nobody knows, but Stacy knows, yeah, and Florian. Florian. We invited them over, and someone was in an interesting giddy mood because you could say it, Stace. Yeah, there was a point at that late, um, early that morning where uh, actually Tom had popped the question to Darcy, and it was just like kind of out of left field, and yeah. After you know, all that, caught her off guard, and it was it was, like, it was like the next day he never he never brought it up again. Yeah. I never, never gave him a response because I didn't trust him. He was been drinking too. Yeah, and he never talked about no. it the next day. It was just kind of like I think a drunken moment or just just didn't feel. I don't know. We were all like, what? It's just, yeah. Are you being serious right now? Yeah, it, it was. I like, didn't take him seriously. I was kind of like, was he just trying to say this to like make himself feel better about what just happened earlier that night? So I was just like, yeah. if he's gonna do it, at least get on me. But he didn't. He was sitting in a chair with you know, some champagne or something in his hand. Well, you know, I know what I'm worth and I know what I deserve, so yeah. it was a blessing in disguise that I was like, uh-uh. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, nah, I'm not desperate Darcy here, so exactly. don't make me feel like one. I think we like the same look. We like that Ooh. glowy, bronzy. <laughs> See, mistakes happen. Let's start all over. Like past relationships, you kind of just rub it off, let it go, and start all over again, start fresh, you know? Cause mm -hmm. when you really want something that's meant to be, you just gotta 
you See, you wing it out. You wing it out. And you wing it good. Okay, so this is our cold laser therapy treatment. <laughs> Suck it up, baby. Yes. Suck it up. When Stacey and I go do our cosmetic procedures, we really feel excited that we get to do it together. You know, we're petite. We're, you know, 5'2", and, you know, weight comes on easy at times, so we have to really be careful. And after the tummy tucks, I feel so much better. You feel lighter. And yeah, you know, got new boobs. They're you know about the same size. The doctor did it, you know, in tandem. One went first, and then the other. So they always got to chuckle about that. All our doctors. Yeah. So we don't want to look too different because we are twins. So if we went to different doctors, it probably wouldn't have made sense. So it's right. always best to go together. Sometimes I think back and I'm like, should I have said that or should not not have said that? Yeah. yeah. How do I mess everything Just up? Just your mouth. Do you just, you know what I Why are you being so rude to your sister? You know, I've always kind of spoke my mind and said how I was feeling internally. Honestly, there's really nothing that I wish I hadn't said on the show, but I kind of wish that I voiced my concern more about the relationship with Jesse because I saw how toxic it was, even behind the scenes and off camera. There were so many moments. When he came to New York to mm -hmm. basically break up with her, I felt it in my gut. I had a twin tuition. I told her, please don't go. Because yeah. I feel like there's he's he's up to something. And she obviously yeah, see. Yeah. She obviously went with her heart. I am in New York and I am here to break up with Darcy. I felt that too, Stace. But you know, I had to own, own up to it. I had to like, you know, tell him you can't treat me like this anymore. But I think that's where the twin tuition mm -hmm. and the twin dynamic comes in is um, you know, we feel each other's pain and I kinda almost feel like we almost in a weird way forewarn each other. Twin power ready? Twin power activate! Oh sister knows best. Yeah. Eyelashes and all. For me, the perception of beauty has evolved over the years. I know for me when I evolved into who I am today, beautiful, I feel like a goddess now. For me, perception of beauty started um, at a young age, I feel like it started with the women in our family. And um, since then, I just, I learned to love myself and I learned to accept my flaws and embrace them. Yeah, I think both of our journeys with beauty is inspiring because, you know, we did get teased as kids. Yeah. We love ourselves. It doesn't matter the outside, it's really the inside because that exudes more than just, you know, makeup on your face. And we, are here to, you know, hopefully make people smile and know that no matter how bad you're feeling or if you're in a bad relationship, you could stay strong and empowered and never let anyone take your power away. That's right. Yeah. I like to do a little highlight here. Cupid's bow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, put too much. Little pops. Yeah. A little dabble do ya. A little dabble do ya. I don't think Georgie ever complained with these juicy lips. Mm -hmm. One of the most beautiful thing about Stacy is that she has a beautiful giving heart. You know, she always is a giver, especially when it comes to her sons. They're amazing boys, very super talented. And you know what? It's My all life. love there. Yeah. Just like I have the two daughters, she has yeah. the two sons. And I see her lighting up when she's around Mateo and Parker. Absolutely. And the kids are growing up together beautifully. And we're very blessed for that. I think kid, yeah. the kids really just make us shine bright. Darcy is the most beautiful, you know what? I, it, might be, it might sound the same, but you know, her heart. She really has a big heart. She's a big giver. And you know what? I just, I just love that she's genuine and she's real. No other way to be. Yeah. No other way to be. That's right.